All right, so the video just ended there, guys. But um, so we just picked up the old ironclad helm. I wonder if that. I know it's better, but I wonder. Hell yeah. And that's like beefy boy armor. So we got this freaking guy right here. Oh, damn. I was not thinking about this, but we're going to want to pull out our... Well, actually, actually. There's a little thing that we can get first. So this guy's going to be throwing bombs at us. Let's go ahead and pull these guys. Come on, where you at? Oh god. Ha ah, ha, bitch. Alright, so we want to use him to hit these. And that's... And there you go, that's why. Run! Okay heal up real quick and now we got a shortcut back to the bonfire and we're gonna really need to be using that here in a second but first we're gonna come over here and oh you got fucking screwed all right i really want to take care of him but he's like up there all right so i do want to see something real quick i want to see I wonder if the parry, if I can still parry with it. Yeah, I think it's going to be better if we just do this this is gonna be really bad though if this doesn't turn out how I want it to because this is basically a little mini boss all right use it use the gold pine oh my what the fuck Fuck you! Alright, well you just gotta parry him. Okay. That's literally what you gotta do. You just gotta parry him and back up. Man, if we could do this, that would be so great. Alright, back up, back up, back up. Fuck you, motherfucker! Come on, back up. Oh god. Oh god. Come on, come on, I need a parry and then heal. Or that, heal. Okay. Oh no! Yep. I think that's the only chance you get to kill him right there, too. That sucks. That means we're going to have to, like, legitly fight him later. <sighs> but that's, like, the best way to take care of him. To be honest. As you can see, he's honestly really, really freaking hard to beat at this point in the game. You're not really meant to be able to beat him. It's more for, like, people that have already played um that have already played this but anyways let's continue 
We need to run back up here and get our souls. Move. Oh yeah, now there's a bunch of guys up here. I forgot. Oh! Yeah, bitch. Fuck off, motherfucker. Alright, so there's a bunch of items up here. So we got the human effigy and we got two life gems. And now we got a torch. And let's see what we got over here. I'm sorry, guys. I really was trying to beat him. Ooh, there's the Estus Shard Flash there now? That's insane. That was never there before. Actually, a lot of these items weren't here. Oh, you motherfucker. And a repair powder. Oh, yeah. Repair powders are like a thing in Dark Souls 2. I don't think it's really an important... Oh, he fucking still... I... What's up, bitch? Did I get his attention? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, shit. Ha ha. Beep. I honestly, I have... I feel better parrying with, uh... With... With this shield than the, than the freaking buckler. And the buckler has, like, way better parrying. So we got Hall Soldier leggings. And that's trash also. Okay, so yeah, we're... It pretty much starts us off with, like, the best gear that you could... Some of the best gear you could start off with. Um, I think the... I think this is the... This is the warrior class. I think the knight class is the best gives you the best armor to start with which is the falconer armor that's the best like armor you can get to start with in the game all right so this is a pretty wide wide open area so there's going to be an item right here a green blossom and so we got a a path to the right path forward with an npc sitting over there and a path to the left over here um so the first thing that we're going to want to do is head to the left over here. And we're going to want to head this way, actually. And this guy is going to try to... Oh, my. Come on with the tracking. Gosh, dude. They have, like, insane tracking in this, in this one. All right, so there's going to be some fucking retards over here doing this shit. Die, son. Oh, sorry, buddy, but no. That's such a satisfying smash. It's, like, not even funny. So this this is a giant right here. These are what the giants look like in this game. Um, This one is obviously, like, dead. But it says examine, and it says, alas, nothing happens. Um, That obviously is because we don't have the item that we need for that, I do believe there's an yeah. I was, I was like, there's an item behind here. A large soul. I think we have a few souls, and we have five thousand pocketed right now. So we're when we when we go back to Majula, we're gonna have plenty to level up with and upgrade our weapons with. I don't know what I want to use yet. I'm kind of thinking to, of switching up to the um the bastard sword. Because that's gonna... It just sucks though. Because I like the fact that this is an A. You know what? Actually, I might just stick to this. The light crossbow right there. Um, I freaking remember this. This jump. There's a jump right here. Oh, this is lit already? What? Alright. So yeah, there's a jump right here. And it's freaking... It's honestly trash, but... See if we can get this. Oh my god, we did it. Oh my god, we did it. Soul of a Nameless Soldier and a Torch. As you can see, it's not even really that worth it. I'm so getting gangbanged. No. Heal. Get. 
Oh god, I'm dead, I'm dead. Fuck off. Die. Oh my lord, you guys. I'm so sorry, but that was a <laughs> That was freaking way too close for my comfort. Alright, so we got a chest right here, and I do not remember what is in here exactly. I should have checked if it was a freaking mimic. So we got the mail breaker and infantry helm. Okay, so the mail breaker, that is a dagger. Um, I believe there's a drop point where it won't hurt us that much. I think it's... Yes, there we go. Nice. So that is what that is there for. Alright, let's take care of this guy. Oh my. Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> Alright, so we actually want to... Well, I got 5555 five, five, five on my souls, guys. Look at that. So this is a little trap right here if it's not freaking obvious. So what you want to do is step in here. And then step out. And a bunch... Of guys are gonna come running out of this room so I'm probably just gonna two hands so I can just take them out real quick because I don't want to get that's what I don't want to happen like look at the freaking range dude like you cannot be serious oh my god wow dude fuck man that's some bullshit dude I don't know how they think this is easier than Dark Souls 1. <clears throat> Dark Souls 2 is not fucking easier than Dark Souls 1 at all. Like, in any aspect. Like, I don't... They punish you for dying. The freaking, like, tracking on these guys is insane. What are you doing, dude? Like how? What the fuck? Fuck! Fucking bitch ass motherfuckers. God damn, dude. That's fucking bullshit, man. There's no fucking way, dude. What the hell, dude? Where are you coming from? Yeah, fucker. See, it's impossible. Oh my god, get the fuck away from me. I just cannot believe this, dude. Like, do you see this, dude? Do you see how, in, like, perfect? It's just, they're just perfect every fucking time, right? I'm sorry, guys. Dude, I might not even do a playthrough for this, because if it's going to be like this, that's fucking stupid. The fucking tracking on these guys is stupid. Come on, I know you fucking saw me. Someone saw me. I need to get through this fucking shit, but I can't. These guys are so fucking retarded. Like, are, dude, you cannot be serious. What the fuck, dude? That's not fair. It is not fair. How? Do you, do you guys see this? Do you guys fucking see this? 
Do you see how perfect every single one of their moves is? That is so insane. <sighs> like, I am so mad right now, you guys. You don't even have... You have no clue right now. Like, I want to fucking throw this controller through the freaking screen of my TV right now. Make this shit this fucking hard. That's so stupid, dude. Like, every little fucking move they did, as soon as I attack, the dude backs the fuck up. Like, no fucking way, dude. No. It does not work that way. Now, this is a trap, so as soon as you open it... Roll. Roll. I hate the arrows. And we got a Titanite Shard. And then also, right here, this is what we are going to be using our Pharos' Lockstones for. So you'll find these throughout the entire game. And it basically lights up a little area. And once you see that, you can hit the wall. And it's kind of like an illusory wall, but there's actual illusory walls in this game too. So we have two chests in here. We got the Chlorinthy ring, which is going to be an amazing ring for us to be using right now. And we also have... A titanite slab. What the fuck is there a doing? What? A titanite slab right there? That's kind of overkill. Okay, um, I hate this spot. So you're gonna want to hit the door. And when you do that, there's gonna be a bunch of guys that come out. It's the only way to open that door, too. Yeah, come on. Oh my god, there's fucking three of them. Like, do you see how perfect? Do you see this? Oh my god. And then look at that. Delayed ass hit. Like, I, like, I was gonna... He was gonna go for another one out of nowhere. I cannot believe this, dude. These guys are fucking trash, man. I can't see shit. No. How? Dude, put your fucking shield up, man. And I do think, yeah, there's a chest in here as well, man. They really darken the, this, these areas a lot in this, uh, in this version. And we have a life ring and a large titanite shard. So we can go ahead and put the life ring and the chlorinthy ring on first. I'll read them off. The ring is named for its decorative green blossom, but its luster is long since faded. Raises stamina recovery speed, so we're going to go ahead and put that on. And now we can also put another ring on since we can put four rings on in this game. So raises maximum health. An old ring set with a red jewel raises maximum health points. Each ring has a different power, and even very modest rings can be a great boon on a perilous journey. So that'll basically just up our health a little bit. And now we have obviously have this continuous effect around us. Oh my god, dude. It has been so hard just... Like, we haven't made any progress. I am so sorry, guys. Like, like I'm sorry for freaking out and shit, too. Like, but gosh. So what we want to do, actually, is head back up this way. And go up the ladder. Yeah, fuck you. Do they climb in this game? I don't think they can climb in this game. Yeah. And basically, we're going to drop right here. Um, you're going to want to do this before you talk to that man, that man down there. I don't know who's attacking. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and break that. Oh, it's those guys. Okay, I'm like, I don't know who's attacking. And we're going to head in through here because this is going to be the back way of coming through here. And this is going to be way easier. Wait. Wait, I remember there being a lot more shit. Yeah. 
Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's not good. Oh, that's so bad. Back the fuck up, bitches. Fuck you. Fuck you. Beep. Yeah, that's what I thought, you fucking dick. Gosh, that's so satisfying. Alright, so we got a, an item right here. Aromatic ooze. And this location... Oh my god, those guys looked like they were alive. I was like, what? What is this, Game of Thrones? Jesus. Uh, this location is the area for the first illusory wall right here if you click the action button as you can see we got illusory wall and there's a chest in here and we get the sorcerer staff and the amber herb and if you come out here I don't remember there's an item anywhere. Oh yeah, so that basically just gets shut. And that guy that's standing out there explains that to you. That it's going to shut behind you when you go in. And you would have had to come in here and all these dudes would have freaking ambushed you and gangbanged your ass basically. So yeah, it's a lot better to come the way that I came. So now we can go back around and talk to him and tell him that we did everything. And he'll, uh, he should give us some items. I believe. All right, what's up? Well, I see you managed to escape. Yep. I wanted to warn you of the trap down the way, but you walked right past me. My name is Pate. I journey hither and thither. He's like you walked right past me. Treasure hunt, you might call it. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. But you should take this. So he just gave us our white sign soapstone. If that is undead to call out for help. Well, there you go. I guess he'll explain it. The fissures between worlds. With luck, somebody will lend you a hand. So basically, <coughs> you guys already know that's where I was for summoning people. Good to see you safe. Good to see. All right, so he has nothing else to say. Um, didn't he just give us a ring? No. What did he give us? I thought he gave us something. Oh yeah, it was just the white sign stuff. Okay. So I'm trying to think where we should go from here. Okay, yeah, we'll just continue on because we're pretty much. Um, oh, we have all those guys up there, and we have this guy up here. Bitch, fuck you. Um, I also need to do this, and I need to put this on, actually, because I have, like, no freaking health. As you can see, you get punished the more you die. Um, your health gets lesser and less and less, and I think it goes all the way until half. No, no, no. Okay, I wanted to get out of that area. You know what? Pick up item. Winged spear. Ooh. I wonder what my two-handed. Oh damn. That shit's brutal. All right. So I remember we got a few things here. We can't open that yet. 